Hello everyone, today I will be going to teach you about the another concept of subnetting which is VLSM. In my previous video I have explained you about the concept of FLSM which stands for fixed plane subnet mask. So in this video I am going to explain you about VLSM which means variable length subnet mask. So what does subnetting means? Subnetting means dividing a network into multiple small networks. We use mainly this uh, concept of subnetting to save the wastage of IP addresses. Now a point to be noted is that which will be used in numerical portion is that IPv4 address is of 32 bits. Here IPv4 stands for Internet Protocol version 4. So it is of 32 bits and IPv6 address is of 128 bits. Remember that. Now I have ex already explained you the concept of FLSM in a previous video. So in this video I am going to explain you about what is VLSM variable length subnet mask so basically VLSM means suppose there is a college who has around 100 PCs so different branches need different amount of PCs so suppose computer networks need 50 PCs and the chemical branch need 20 PCs so this is variable in variable and not fixed so this is variable length subnet mask miracle of VLSM you should know the classes addressing so here five classes are there class A, B, C, D and E you must remember the, its range and its subnet mask made at mask of this class A, B, C so class A has a range from 0 to 127 class B has a range from 128 to 191 class C has a range, range from 192 to 223 and class D, E, 224, 239 and 240, 255 these both are experimental and practical now look, class A has subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 class B has subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 class C has subnet mask of 3 times 255.0 now coming to the numerical portion now given to us an IP address of network 192.168.10.10 now I have explained you that how to check to which class does it belong check this first digit this 192 it comes in which range of class 192 comes in this class C so it is a class C address I wrote here it is a class C address you should remember which class does it belong to the network IP ok now the question is we have to divide this network into 20 and 50 IP addresses means we have to divide this network range 100 to 20 and 50 IP addresses now how to do this now the step one that you need to do is arrange them in a sending order subnetwork means we have to divide it in 20 and 50 IP addresses now arrange them in descending order now 50 is bigger than 20 so I will write 50 20 will come see 50 is greater than 20 is less so 50 20 this is descending order now coming to step 2 you have you have to do this step 2 again once for 50 and another for 20 now step 2 now in first number order of descending what is the first number order of descending which is 50 so right here 50 the first number order of descending that is 50 now after doing this much now we have to add 2 here we have to add plus 2 to 50 1 for is the network address and 1 is for broadcast address now which will become 50 plus 2 which is 52 after doing this much now how many subnetworks you want to create we want to create here 50 subnetworks of IP address now what is 2 raised to power something which is greater than 50 I will tell once more what is 2 raised to power something which is greater than or equal to 50 you can see here 2 raised to power 6 is greater than and also you can see here 2 raised to power 6 is greater than 50 so right here 2 raised to power 6 is greater than 50 now after doing this much now this 6 the power that we have got added in the subnet mask in this manner now look host bit that we have got this power 6 is our host bit so right here 6 6 is our host bit now we have to find out our network bits which will be 32 minus host bit so 32 minus host host bit which is 6 32 minus 6 is 26 now you might have a doubt what is 32 here so I have told you IP for address is of 32 bits means 4 section 1 section containing 8 bits and similarly other 3 so 8 into 4 32 26 we got 
Now I have told you that 255 can be written in the form of 8 times 1. 1 and 2 raised to power 0, 1 and 2 raised to power 1 and similar 2 raised to power 7 starting from power right 0. Okay. Remember starting from right and 2 raised to power 0. Now this is a class C which has some and mask of 3, 3 times 255.0. So I have written in this form of number 1s and 0 because computer only understand the form language of 1s and 0s. Now the whole now we have 26 host bits so we have to do the adding once process in the class C subnet mask see here class C has subnet mask of 3 times 255.0 now 255 is already assigned 8 times 1 so 8, 8 times 1, 8 times 1, 8 times 1 which is 8 times 3 so 8 into 3 24 24 is already assigned so 2 more we need to add so it will become 26 so I have already added here 2 6 2 times 1 starting from left look add from left in the last block I have added here 1 don't add from this right side add 1 1 here ok now after doing this now we have to calculate we know that this 8 times 1 is 255 so no need to do that now look we have added 2 ones now you look at how many ones are there 26 ones are there 8 8 8 and 2 8 3 24 24 plus 2 26 now it is here as well so 2 times 1 now see I have made changes here as well 1 1 because we already know that this 8 times 1 is uh, 255 255 255 now we will do the power of this IP now 1 into raised to power 7 1 into raised to power 6 and this all will become 0 because 0 is something is 0 only now when you will do this you will get 128 plus 64 because 2 raised to power 6 64 and 2 raised to power 7 is 128 and the rest is 0 so when you will add this you will get here 192 so we will make change in the IP address as well which is 192 if you are not getting this question do the question with me if you will do the question with me while I am explaining you will get everything I am teaching ok now after doing this we have got our converted subnet mask now we have to subtract the MSB minus CSB. MSB here means maximum subnet mask and CSB here means converted subnet mask. The maximum subnet mask that IP can have is 255.255.255.255. Now converted subnet mask we have got here is 192. Now we have to do the subtraction. When you will subtract it, you will need to do a simple subtraction which is 0 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 63 you will get here 63 because 5 minus 2 3 5 15 minus 9 6 and 1 minus 1 0 so this is the required difference that we have got by doing MSB minus CSB now make we have to make here first step is 50 IP address range so we will add here 60 the difference that we have got when we will add this we will get 192.168.10.63 so then 50 IP address network range will be from 192.168.10.0 to 10.63 now we have done the IP address range for 50 IP address now we will come to 20 we will do we will repeat this step once more for 20 also now repeat the steps for 20 IP address now second number of descending order is 20 now add 2 in the network address 20 20 plus 2 is 22 now what is 2 raised to power something which will be greater than or equal to 20 so 2 raised to power 5 2 raised to power 5 is something that is greater than 20 because 32 is always greater universally greater than 20 and the power that we have got added in the subnet mask in this manner the host bit that we have got is 5 here look the power is 5 so 5 host bit we have got now we have to find out the network bits which will be 32 minus host bits that is 32 minus 5 which will be getting our 27 now we know that 255 can be written in this form now this is a class C subnet mask so it can be written in this form now do the similar step that host bits now we have here 27 host bits so starting from left to right these are 8 ones 8 8 8 8 we add 8 here so 8 3 24 how many left 3 are left so we'll add from left side three ones one two three three ones are now how many ones are present here eight 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 twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven 
so we will do the calculation for this last one only because we know that 8 times 1 is 255 when we will do the calculation of this 1 into raised to power 7 1 into raised to power 6 1 into raised to power 5 rest all is 0 because anything multiplied by 0 is 0 only when you will do this you will get 2 raised to power 7 is 128 plus 2 raised to power 6 is 64 and 2 raised to power 5 is 32 when you will do this you will get here 224 now we will we have got our converted subnet mask which is 224 now we will do the step of again MSB minus CSB which is 224 you will get that difference of 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 31 because 5 minus 4 is 1 here and 5 minus 2 is 3 so this is the uh, difference that we have got from MSB minus CSB now we have to do the 20 IP addressing now look there is only one network we have to divide that only one network into 50 and 20 50 is already assigned so the rest 20 will start from the 50 the 50 was ended at see the 50 IP was ended at 63 so we'll add here plus 1 which will become 64 so 10.64 now we will add in this 31 so what will we get 192.168.10 dot we will be getting here 95 95 because 4 plus 1 is 5 and 6 plus 3 is 9 so 20 IP desk network range will be from 64 to 95 so this is how we do VLSM in computer networks now there is a point to be noted is that whenever you do this question if the question comes in like class A, B, C or any class address suppose there is a class A address we given to us 10 to 15 10 and 15 subnet IP address you have to make so this is a class A address so, subnet mask is this so when you the critical part comes here when you will do the MSB minus CSB note 255 the highest subnet mask range and the minimum which is 0 255 minus 0 is not 255 it's always 255 minus 0 is 0 only and remember you have to do only the once at the last bit cycle only you have to only add the powers once at the last bit cycle only i am talking about this step this in which i have added here last bits if is this between zeros you have to do the last only if in this two block this two blocks this and this block is zero you have to only add the ones at this last block only not in the middle two blocks okay so this is how we do VLSM in computer networks. I hope you like my video. If you like it, then please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.